Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. A team from the University of Salford have collaborated with experts from English Heritage to create a scale model of Stonehenge, in order to fully understand the acoustic properties of the ancient monument. Due to the incomplete nature of Stonehenge today, creating the model was a challenge. It is believed to have consisted of 157 stones, but today 57 of them are missing. The team have therefore created an idealised version of the monument, based on insights of archaeologists to ensure that this is how the monument would have most likely have looked when it was completed. They also used the latest laser scan data from the original site to ensure their model was as realistic as possible. To construct the model at 1 12th scale, the stones were made using 3D printer technology to ensure accuracy, as well as specialised moulding techniques. Silicon moulds were made and used to cast the stones, which were made out of plaster that was mixed with a polymer. They were then spray painted grey to match the colour of the real stones. The model stone circle is 7.5 feet or 2.3 metres wide, and is the best, most accurate reconstruction of Stonehenge ever made, thanks to the use of the laser scan data. But it was the acoustic properties of a completed Stonehenge that the experts were most interested to explore. To conduct the study, the scientists placed the scale model inside the university's acoustic chamber and tested it over the course of a week. Apparently they employed a method used in video game and virtual reality sound creation known as oralization. But the model is 1 12th the scale of the original, and so the researchers had to increase the frequency of the sounds by a factor of 12 to ensure the acoustic properties were accurately recorded. This is in a range that can't be heard by the human ear, and was to simulate the sonic environment of the original full-size monument. Talking to the media, the project leader, Professor Trevor Cox, said, It is the sound equivalent of visualisation. We can virtually place a source of sound in a space. The experiment was a success, and the team now believe they have a greater understanding of the acoustic environment of Stonehenge when it was apparently completed in 2200 BC. So, what did they find out? Well, as well as looking iconic in the landscape, Stonehenge was a sonic marvel. Professor Cox continued, Considering the henge has no roof, and there are lots of spaces between stones, the acoustics are more like an enclosed room, like a cinema, rather than an outdoor space, and it really does enhance singing. Having the acoustics of a room inside an outdoor enclosure would have helped reinforce speech, singing and chanting. When Professor Cox put his voice into the scale model, it gained a majestic and reverberant quality through the acoustics of the monument. Tests are ongoing, but the results were apparently very similar to tests made in 2012 at the full-scale replica at Maryland, Washington in the United States. Cox continued, I doubt it was designed for its acoustics, but once made, this would have been a very unusual space. Back in its heyday, there were very few enclosed reverberant spaces, with the exception of caves. Even if the acoustic wasn't deliberately designed, it would be astonishing if they didn't exploit the acoustics once it was built. When I hear more on this exciting discovery, I'll be sure to report it here on Ancient Architects. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, Please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.